it's November 1st, 2020, and exactly a year ago today, I built some custom planters around old dead tree stumps to try and encourage new tree root systems to grow like a sculpture in, around, and through those dead tree stump nurse logs. Let's take a quick look and see how it's going so far. in the early years of this decades-long project. My main measures of success are going to be how the structures are holding up and whether or not the trees are thriving. I don't know if this tree has grown noticeably at all since I planted it last year. Maybe I'll throw in a reference clip so you can see uh, a before and after. Clearly the tree is still alive, so that's a win in my book. I do want to talk about the soil. If you remember the video from last year, the bulk of this bin was filled with grass clippings and dead leaves, mostly just because it was a free way for me to create my own excellent soil by composting those elements down in the lower part of the bin this year. I had to continuously add more and more compost as the soil level sank with that composting process. It was a lot of work and potentially could expose the tree roots if the soil level dropped too far without my adding more compost to compensate. This tree is doing just fine and all of these planters that I built last year are all holding up really quite well. failure. It's just a chance to try something different. I'm not sure exactly what killed this tree. This part of the homestead is a little harder to access and the soil level had dropped a little below some of its roots before I noticed. That definitely stressed the tree. But after that, and during the really dry summer, I kind of babied it along, giving it an extra water, a little more attention, making sure it was topped off with some nice uh, rabbit manure. But by the end of summer, it was just obviously not going to make it. Those exposed tree roots may have been the primary cause of its ultimate demise, but there may have also been something else working against this tree. This surface area here may just be too small for natural rain to hydrate the tree enough. And since I have to try something different anyways, I might as well be a little more creative about it. I'll be taking this planter apart and rebuilding it a little differently to help give it a little more chance to get more rain to the tree where it needs it. And I've got a new tree already that I can plant in its place.
All right, I've taken it apart and clamped it temporarily into a new configuration. This one is definitely larger. There'll be more room for dirt in this, um, in this planter box. And instead of tapering up to a pyramid shape, a lot of it is tapered in an inverted pyramid shape. Just kind of, kind of a cool idea, I think. See what that does. It was a very good exercise to take this apart and see what the root system had been doing for the first year. Even though that tree didn't make it and never got really, really well established, I'd say, I was still very impressed with how thickly and how deep its roots had already reached into the ground and through the stump. I think I can make a pretty fair prediction that when I eventually take these boards off of these planters, that the root system will conform fairly tightly to the shape that they encompass. So now it's just a matter of custom cutting all the rest of these boards and screwing them into place. Then I'll put the dirt back in. I've got a bunch more finished compost to top this thing off with, and then I'll plant the tree.
my camera battery ran out yesterday and I was running out of daylight anyway. These projects always seem to take longer than I think they're going to, but with a labor of love, taking longer is okay. I've got the planner finished and I've already put in that extra finished compost that I was talking about earlier. Let's take a quick look at the raised bed before I plant the new tree in it. You can see it does taper in an inverse pyramid fashion towards the base of the tree stump. I think it'll be really nice. Hopefully this tree survives. Here we have another dead, hollowed out tree stump ready to act in its second life as a tree planter. Full disclosure, this actually isn't our property. You can probably see our boy goat shelter there in the background. We're just a little bit on this side of the fence. I have a nice arrangement with the farmer who leases this land for grazing such that I can come over here to fight invasive species, mostly ivy and blackberry bushes. So I'm sure planting a new tree will be just fine. Basically, I can pretty much do what I want short of removing trees here in the forest. Anyway, I've been planning to plant this tree for a little while now. And earlier in the year, I filled it up with the composting material and a little bit of topsoil already. So, there's not gonna be any of that settling problem, hopefully. This location is very easy for me to see from our place. So I'm hoping that coming over here to check on this tree periodically won't be that much of an issue. I won't be building the raised bed around it because this isn't our place, but that's an interesting experiment in and of itself. I'd like to see how this tree does without the extra dirt around the outside of the tree stump, just having what's inside the tree stump itself. It'll be an interesting comparison over the years, assuming the tree survives. Those tree stakes are just dead fall branches. Kind of a nice natural look for, uh, for a tree stake, I think.
just like last year. I bought these Western Hemlocks from Portland Nursery. The Western Hemlock is a native conifer and it's supposed to really thrive in the partial shade of a forest setting and it really does like working its roots into nurse logs. You can tell that the new tree is a little larger than the old one had been. I probably should have measured the trees last year so I could see how well they're growing. Anyway, this year, the new tree here is about four and a half feet tall. The other ones are all right around four feet. So now we'll know going forward just how much the trees grow year after year.